Okay, welcome to day two. This is Tuesday's lesson, April 28th. This is Go Math lesson 10.2. This is a fun one. We get to make picture graphs today. So our first page has the problem of asking us to show our work, and here's the problem. Asif has six balls. He has four bats. Does he have more baseballs or bats? Oh, that's so easy. So we know, write six, because six balls, write four, four bats, color in your graph, which one has more, balls or bats? You got that, no problem. Okay, on our next page, we're going to be looking at a, making our own graphs and answering some questions. So for instance, in this graph, are there more black or white sheep in the picture? Make a picture graph to find out. So in this picture, you're gonna count all the black sheep, put one circle for each black sheep. So you can see they put an X for one, two, three. So you're gonna put three circles. Then you're gonna count all the white sheep, put a circle for each one. There are more blank sheep. So are there more black sheep or white sheep? So look at your graph. The next section asks us to ask 10 friends. Oh, that's so sad because all of our friends are at home. But you're gonna ask some of my family and then you're gonna ask your family. And you might not get 10, but that's okay. Get as many as you can. So you're going to ask your family members, just like I'm gonna ask my family members, do you like cats or dogs for your favorite pet. Whatever your family member says, you're gonna put one circle for in the box next to what they say. So I like dogs, so for myself, I'm gonna put a circle. If you listen to Mr. Manley's video, he was asked this question if he likes cats or dogs, and he said dogs. So we're gonna put another circle for Mr. Manley. You do it too, just like I'm doing. Sienna is my daughter. Do you like cats or dogs for your favorite pet? Cats. Ooh, Sienna likes cats, so everybody put a circle for cats. Carlos, is your favorite pet cats or dogs? My favorite are dogs. Carlos likes dogs, so everybody put a circle for dogs. Kelsey, cats or dogs? Dogs. Kelsey likes dogs. Oh, I see who's winning. Put a circle for Kelsey. Now you pause this video and you go ask your family and put a circle where they say they want for cats or dogs. After you do that, then you're gonna count how many children or family members chose cats. So my family and your family count all the cats, put the number. How many children chose dogs? Count all the dogs, my family and your family, put the number. Which pet did more children choose? I think I can guess who's gonna be the winner. Then we're gonna go to our favorite activity. So you're gonna, again, ask your family and my family. So when my family answers, you're gonna record what they say. So is your favorite activity reading, computer, or sports? So I'm gonna answer for myself first and I'm gonna put reading because haha, <laughs> I'm a teacher. We like to read. Carlos, do you like reading, computer, or sports? Sports. Ooh, we're gonna put a circle for Carlos. Everybody do it. Sienna, reading, computer, or sports? Reading. Sienna is just like her mom. She likes reading. Kelsey, reading, computer, or sports? Computer. She likes computer, only because she can play games on it. Okay, so you put those circles. Now go ask your family what their favorite activity is, and then you're gonna answer the questions. And here are our questions. Number four, how many children or family members chose reading? So when you get them all done, count all the circles for reading. How many children chose computers and sports? Remember the and means to add. So you're gonna add how many chose computers and how many chose sports together and write the answer here, the sum. Number six, which activity did the most children choose? So whichever one has the most circles, you're going to circle that picture. Did all your classmates make picture graphs that look the same? Now here we know that if all of our classmates are asking their own family, are their family going to say the same choices as your family? Probably not. So everybody's graph is gonna look a little bit different because some families might have more people who like sports or some people might have more people who like computers. So everybody's gonna be different. So circle, no. 
Not everybody's is gonna look the same. Number eight says, write your own question about the graph. So we are already have some questions here about this graph, but we're gonna pick our own question now. So I'm gonna put my question as which activity got the least amount of votes? So I'm gonna start with a capital. And if I don't know how to spell it, I sound it out, W-H. We know those question words start with W-H. Ch, ch. That sounds like C-H. Which activity, and I can see that word right here, got fewer, fewer is our high frequency word for this lesson, votes, v, o, t. And I know if I hear o consonant, I need a silent e, and that's more than one. Which activity got fewer votes? And I know if it's a question, I put a question mark. So make sure you have your capital at the beginning, your question mark at the end. Number nine, look at the question you wrote and answer your question. Now you're gonna have to answer your question that you write, not the one I write, after you get all your data on there. Okay? <clears throat> the last page is a graph that's already been made, so we don't have to ask anybody this time. It says, Matt made this picture graph to show the paint colors his friends like best. So we see blue, red, and green, and each circle stands for one child who got asked the question. So how many children chose a paint color? So that means all the paint colors. So that means children mean each circle. So you're gonna count all the circles and put the answer. How many fewer children chose green than blue? So how many fewer always is going to mean to subtract, okay? So you're gonna see how many green and how many blue. So blue is the bigger number, so subtract it from green. Or if you want, you can just draw a line and compare. This is where blue and green are the same. So how many fewer green is that number right there? Write it on the line. Number 12, complete the picture graph to show the numbers of flowers. So in this face, so how many red? So you're gonna put a circle for each red and count how many yellow, put a circle for each yellow and you're done. If you like graphing, you can go on to your favorite dinosaur graph on the white pages. That'll be fun too. Okay, we're gonna move on to your packet. Your packet today is lesson one. We're gonna start right at the beginning and we're going to look at place value. Now remember, we have practiced this before, so this is review. So remember that we know we have ones, tens, and hundreds. So we know that if we have numbers one through nine, those are ones, and remember that we represented them with a little square, sometimes a circle, okay? And we also know that we can put 10 of these together and that will make one 10, one group of 10. So there are 10 little squares in this one 10. And when we're drawing them, we know we draw them with lines and circles. So we want to look at our model here and we wanna count how many 10s, how many ones. So remember when we're counting 10s, we count the lines going down. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight tens. And then to count the ones, I just count, remember it looks like a 10 frame, so I can see five, six, seven. Eight tens is not just eight, it's 80, because remember we count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So I write 80. And seven ones is just seven. When I put those two numbers together by adding them, it's 87, okay? So you're gonna do the same thing here. So you're gonna count your tens. One, two, three tens. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five ones. Three tens is 10, 20, 30. So you're gonna write 30 here. If you forget, look at your model. Plus five and 30 plus five is 35, you're gonna write that there. Okay, number two is the same, so you're gonna do that one on your own. 
Then on the back, we have just a little bit more practice with our tens and ones. Make sure that's in the frame here. All right, how many tens, how many ones? You're gonna do exactly the same thing on these and on this one. Over here, you're gonna draw the same number using only tens. So I can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones here, right? So 10 ones is the same as one 10. So I'm gonna draw it another way using only tens. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six tens, and that's 60, plus 10 is 70. So seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So I have seven tens and zero ones. 70 plus zero equals 70. Okay, have a great day.